In this video, we're going to solve problem 170 in sample exam FM from 2017. Yet another problem that we can solve very efficiently and pretty quickly, I think, using the formulas that we've developed in recent videos, we will be finding the annual coupon rate of a bond that has a given yield rate and a given amount of accumulation of discount in a certain coupon payment. And here's the problem statement. You're given the following information about a 20-year bond with face amount of 1,000. The bond has an annual coupon rate of R, payable semi-annually. Careful, that's an annual coupon rate, so R over 2 would be the effective semi-annual coupon rate. It's redeemable at par. The nominal annual yield rate convertible semi-annually is 7.2%, so the effective semi-annual yield rate would be half of that, 3.6%. The amount for the accumulation of discount in the seventh coupon payment is 4.36. Calculate R, this thing that is the annual coupon rate, payable semi-annually. So again, R over 2 is the effective semi-annual coupon rate. Don't solve for R over 2, solve for R though. I think probably the best thing to do here initially is just write down what we know. N is 20 times 2 because it's 20 years and it's a semi-annual coupon payment, so that's 40. The face amount is 1,000, and that is the same as the redemption value. The effective semi-annual yield rate would be half of 7.2%, 3.6%. And we're also told that 4.36 is the amount of the accumulation of discount in the seventh coupon payment based on the notation and formulas from recent videos. This would be the same as negative PR7. Um, so this is, again, because it's at bond sold at discount. If it was sold at premium, it would be positive PR7. But even with the negative sign here, that is a positive quantity when the bond is bought at a discount. And again, the formula for this, after using that minus sign in front of it, would be the redemption value times uh, the semi-annual yield rate minus the semi-annual modified coupon rate times VJ to the N minus T, which is 7 plus 1 power. Again, because the bond is redeemable at par, the C can be replaced with F, and the G can be replaced with the uh, effective semi-annual coupon rate, which would be R over 2, not R, like I mentioned earlier. And this would be to the 34th power here. So now it's a pretty easy problem from here. You just plug in the numbers you know and solve for what you don't know, which will be R. So this, let's see, this is a thousand again. Let's figure out Vj to the 34th power. J is 0 0.036, so V is this. Raise that to the 34th power. Multiply by a thousand. That will be F times Vj to the 34th power. I need to divide both sides by that, so take its reciprocal and multiply times 4.36. Looks like what we get here is 0 0.0145117 equals j, which is 0 0.036 minus r over 2. So r over 2 is 0 0.036 minus that. Negate this, add 0 0.036. r over 2 is 0 0.021. 4883, multiply by 2 to find R, it's about 0 0.04298, can round it to 4.3%, and 4.3% is one of the answers, it's answer C I believe, if you look in the answers, and uh, yeah, that is correct to that many decimal places. So pretty quick problem once you have this formula here.